Hello, fellow collectors. Today we're going to be talking about Percy from The Legend of Vox Machina. So, if you are familiar with the Amazon series or the actual role-playing game Critical Hit, you would recognize Percy here. So, on the side, we have some artwork for Percy, and we have Critical Role. On the back here, we see all the characters in the line, and we see Percy. Pull it up. Pause to read. So on the side here we have Percival, Fredrickson, Ron Mussel, Klawoski de Rolo the Third. So Percy, as he is called, is coming in at 8.2 ounces. So let's get Percy out of the box. Okay, now that we have Percival out, we can look at his accessory. He comes with this gun here. Just like in the show. So if we look at Percival a little bit closer here, we can see he has some glasses on and they are reflective so that's nice they're not just holes has his coat on his holster and has his boots on now his coat is soft rubber so it does come up to at least here Feels like it's attached right in there. As far as the figure is concerned, you can do a nice T pose. Arms rotate around, bicep swivel, double bend in the elbow, and a wrist that's on a hinge, ball jointed. Now his head can go up so far because of his hair. He can look down pretty good. Left and right really good. As far as ab crunch goes, he's got a little bit forward, a lot back. When you do pull back, nine the gap. He does have waist rotation. Pretty good splits. Double bend in the knee as well as ankle rotation on a ball joint with a hole and a toe bend. Now, depending on how you want to do it, you can just go ahead and put his gun in his holster and show him. And this hand is flat, so it's not really holding it. But if you want to have him hold it here, you'll notice he does have a weapon hand or finger, trigger finger, and the weapon does have a trigger. So you can maneuver his finger out a little bit while you're rotating the gun, and he can hold it correctly. Right, and there we go. And there we'll get it back together. Now he doesn't hold it like a normal gun. He does. It's able to hold it like that. Well, can't have it all, can we? So if I pull out my scale. We'll see that Percival is coming in right at seven inches tall. So if I bring in another McFarlane figure, we can see that he does fit height-wise a little bit smaller in stature than Wonder Woman, but that's fine. Different universes. So if you're looking for Percival here, you can head on over to Amazon where I picked him up for a pretty good price during the Christmas season. And as always, guys and gals, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.